Hey guys, and welcome back to Landstriders to Future's Edge server, sponsored by Aim to Game Servers. And I was planning to do all the tech quests with you today. Unfortunately, whilst I was going through stuff ush, ush, and sorting out my inventory over there, one of those floating skull critters came coming out of the, the portal, flew all the way over and started having a go at me in my little storage place here. I blew him up. Well, no, I, I hit him and then he blew up. Thankfully not actually destroying. I didn't look at the glass. Thankfully not destroying anything in here, but he did give me a little bit of blaze powder, which you remember we were saving for the beginning of this episode. So there we go. We've got some blaze powder. And the next thing we need to do is make these blast bricks. Now, I do believe these things are a little bit harder to make. We need nether brick and normal brick as well as a fire charge. These fire charges actually shouldn't be too hard to make. Alright, six blast furnace bricks. Now I know that's not going to be enough to make the entire thing. In fact, that's not enough to even finish it. Thankfully, I did put more in to cook. Oh, that's not my cooking block spot. This is. So if we clickety click, click, click. We get ourselves the eight that we need, and that completes the steel quest for us. All right, now what are we going to choose? Maybe some more blast bricks. That will only take us up to ten. I would need like another six. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. All right, the heart from that plus some others that I had kicking around gives me an extra life. And now I need to make some more because uh, this will only do two layers. In fact, it won't even do all of two layers. Whew, that was a lot of crafting. What we got going here, too. Okay, we'll come back for that. We'll come back for that. We are going to go over here with these blast bricks because I have done a little bit of clearing out of this space. Got ourselves a double double room now. I'd like to continue these across, and that won't take two seconds with the chisel. But once again, placing these blocks down in the 3x3 three three action as is traditional. I quite like the colour of these. I might end up using these some... I mean, they're like super expensive, but I might end up using them somewhere anyway. Uh, I think we're going to put the front on here. Boom. Once again, we've got the torch issue. Right, let me go grab that iron that was cooking. Okay, so the entire process, as I am given to understand it, is you put coal in here to become coke. You take your coke over to the blast furnace and you pop your iron in there and you start cooking it with the coke. Now I'm not sure if that is particularly necessary or whether I could use a different type of fuel but that's the one I'm going to put in here for now. And then we just got to wait as is always the way with these processes we have to wait a very very long time. So an interesting little thing that I've noticed here is the coal actually burns out just a little bit before the steel gets burnt. But there is some of the steel we are after. Now, of course, we are after these so we can make ourselves the chassis. You remember that we had this like little quest line that we were following where we were after the sag mill so we could start grinding up some ores? Let's get on with that, shall we? Look at this guy. He just kind of wandered off this tree that I was uh, clearing off because it's crowed into my water mill. I wouldn't worry about him though, he ain't no trouble. So after ripping out internal walls, making window spaces in other shops, we've managed to finally get this as an enclosed space. I think I'd like to put this window here or a version of this window. Need to replace these bottom slabs with something. But you guys will remember, as I'm sure you do, that this treated wood quest gave us some basic gears and... And inside my inventory, we also built this capacitor last episode, or the episode before. Last episode was the nether one. Uh, and we built this as well, before running headlong into the fact that we needed steel. Now, it turns out, if I hadn't have actually chosen the windmill here, if I hadn't done that, I could have just gone straight to steel and worked my way through it then. A uh, little bit silly, but that's the way things work. So I'm going to grab a machine chassis just like so and then we're going to start working on the sag mill which is of course the three bits of obsidian two bits of flint the machine chassis pistons and a bit of iron all right sag mill now this is of oh look at that they were given it got a quest and everything let's have a quick sleep now obviously i'm gonna have to start working out how i'm going to power this thing i think i'm going to put it in the same room over here 
here. There, there might be reasons why I can't do this, but I cannot think of them off the top of my head. And I'm probably going to have power coming in through this corner here somehow. Did you just watch that door change colour? I sure did. So I think what I'm going to do is put the... Can we put it there? Oh, the camera. Look, look. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, that, that kind of works. It's probably not the machine I'm going to put there. I probably put another table of some description here and put that there. So the way this works is we need a grind device, we need some power, and we need the item that we are grinding. What's this? I think we need to go and find out what that thing is over there. I've got a boat on standby specifically for this very thing. If I could jump in there, that would be great. And we need to make our way... Ooh, major steers. Look, there's, there's many of them. What are these things down here? Which one do you reckon is closer to the surface? I don't... I don't really... There are lots. Lots and lots and lots of them. Now, they kind of look like minecarts to me. I don't know what they are. Let's go down and have a look. Uh, it's underground. Oh, no. So, we have a new thing that we need to go and explore about. I think to do that, we are going to go to the cave system underground. Just really quickly, we're going to go have a look at another one. Just to make sure that they are completely underground. Or underwater, sorry. Uh, yeah, no. These are things that need to be dug down to get to. Okay, well, let's uh, let's head to the cave systems. Okay, there appears to be one located not too far away this way. I have only got three torches on me. This is unfortunate. I normally carry loads in my building backpack. Okay, we're definitely starting to close in on it now. I have to be a little bit careful because of all these gravel pits here. Uh, anytime that I knock one of these out, it's had the ocean above it. So that's not been great. We have come a long way. You can see this diagonal line here goes, uh, I don't know, about a quarter of the distance which we have traveled. Um, in fact, even if I... Oh, no, we can't see here. Yeah, no, we can see here. I'm here. I've come from, like, over here somewhere. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, just a few more blocks until we find out what it is. It looks like it is indeed a minecart with a chest in it. I'm just going to ignore that copper for now. I will come back through this tunnel and grab all the stuff. I grabbed all the iron that I saw because that was useful. So it is a um, mine mine shaft, an abandoned mine shaft. What have we got? Literally, it's just that one there. Why does it have spectral upon it? What is going on here? Obviously, something great and amazing. Oh, and I will definitely be coming through here and exploring this place properly at some point. But look, it's all see-through and stuff. What have we got inside? We've got a load of rails. We've got some name tags. I'm just going to uh, smash this up and take everything. Oh, that is good. Am I going to go for an explore around here? I think I am going to go for a little explore around here before going back and getting on with all the quest line I was expecting to get on with today. So, I need some hardened clay for all the connection materials for the power. And so I came out to the Mesa biome, which we are right here. The Arcology is right up there. Landstriders, by the way. And also Bevel Guy lives out over there. Uh, and I thought I'd show you quickly this place that I found. I was originally worried that maybe it was a player-built structure. And then not only did I see all this mossy, co mossy cobble and go, oh, no, it can't be. I also came down here and had a look in some of the chests and was like, hmm, people wouldn't have left this stuff here. In fact, there's even storybooks here. Should we um, have a look? Speeches, sandy daffodils, when above could. What? Have I discovered some sort of puzzle system here? When above could. 
This is also beaches. Oh, that was August. August ever down. Uh, no, no, that was the one I just read. I do stand corrected. August is love with how. Very confused. Oh, in fact, there's when love with how eight thousand gently. There, there must be some sort of internally consistent story somewhere amongst all this, but I do not know what it is. Oh no! Look, 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 look. Let's go and slap some some torches on this over here. So I had a look around, mainly to go see what these spectral chests are, and it turns out they're part of some weird surface mine shaft, which I remember being part of the update notes for 1.10. Uh, so that's all good. I was just seeing if there was a way round. There's not. How did how did I get in here? There was a way in here. Here it is. Uh, once again, it's the weird spectral chest, but I think we can deal with that. What's inside? Ooh, I've got a potion wand, a load of track, lapis, and redstone. These are things I could definitely do with. Nom, 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 nom. Give me all that stuff. Also found a magic bean out of... Let's have a look around here. Uh, I believe it was just over this ridge here. Round this corner, you can see that, that little nature chest there. I got some stuff out of that. Just wanted to give you an update about what I was finding here. I think the next thing we're going to do is try and hit that one. Is that another clump of... No, it's not a spawner. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Also, for those of you who haven't seen the uh, dropping particle effects underneath sand and gravel and stuff like that that should technically be falling but because this was spawned in world gen and then the uh mine shaft cut through it just afterwards as part of the world gen it doesn't know to fall yet if i was to give it an, a block update i don't really want to do it because it's going to drop all of them but if i was to give it a block update it would fall down i don't know do we, do we want to is walking across it enough let's do it on this side here we go block update whoa you see that crazy and then it falls into the, the web i'm interested to know what's going to happen when it hits the bottom of the web is the sand going to pop off or is the web going to pop off let's wait for a second shall we the sand the sand was going to pop okay that that's fine uh, i just wanted to know you have to experiment with some of these things occasionally let's go check out what these desert carts are all about because these two are in the desert um completely missed but putting down a a torch isn't the worst thing in the world. We've got a golden apple, so that's pretty good. Some beet seeds, some pumpkins, torches, stuff like that. Once again, I'm just going to uh, smash this up. Yeah, great. I'm starting to run out of room a little bit here, but that that's all good. I was expecting a bit more of it to end up in my backpacks. I suppose all the hardened clay and stuff like that has. Do I want to grab some sand while I'm out here? I might do. I very well might do. I didn't even look inside of that. Oh, so we got some iron, uh, a weapon crate, I believe that is, and an enchantment book. Let's have a look at the enchantment. Sharpness five. Oh yeah. Now we could spin the weapon crate. Has it been picked up by one of the the bags? That's cool. We could spin the weapon crate now, but we're gonna wait. It kind of works like um, you know, one of those random selector blocks. We we will find out when we get back home. So I've wandered all the way up here, and I've realised I don't actually have a crafting bench here to do all the craft that needs to happen to make this work. So I think maybe we can do another quest. If I put the crafting table and a bit of string in together, I get the portable crafting bench, and we get the uh, achievement, Take It With You, which enables me to do this. Ah, oh, isn't that great? I do, however, need to grab a stack of this out of here, this being, of course, the hardened clay. So, if we grab our copper, we want three in a line like that, and then two like that, because I believe if we do this, we get some LV connectors. Yeah, that's very good. And then if we do this, we get the relay, or is it more like this? Is this one okay brilliant we get the uh relay now the connector needs to go on the back of this now i have double checked it doesn't have to go on the top of that uh you can just put it there uh, another thing i need to make is in a multi-step process that we have been through uh, before we make a little bit of tin plate like that copper plate either and i didn't bring my tin snips oh no so as I was saying, we then take the plate, we chop it up with these engineer wire cutters, and it gives us one of these. We actually needed a whole lot more than that, didn't we? Oh, it's, it's going to be a segment of cuts, you just know it. So four bits of wire around this copper stick will give me one LV... What, uh, 
LV wire coil. Now we're going to pop this one here and we're going to have to drop all the way down and make some decisions. Now do I have a pickaxe on me? I do not. So we're going to have to make that decision as well. I've got the treated stick. The decision of course being what type of pickaxe we're going to make. I'm still working on the stone tip because well I haven't quite got the ore doubling down. This all takes a lot of iron. Well, he disappeared there for a moment. Uh, and, and lots of things uh, could really be better. Now, I believe I want to kind of go through this wall here. It's this a very corner plate, which is going to make things a little bit awkward. Can we... No, we can't. Mm, who designed this place? Absolutely terrible. Whoever did this really needs to be shot. Perhaps we can go underground, maybe something like that. I really want to just kind of come in through the top up there. Okay, we're going to do it like this. We're going to put a hole there. Um, and then maybe... How can, we, how can we work around this? So we need a relay. This is something. Because the connectors can only have one wire connected. And the relays can go for two or three. Uh, I'm not sure how many it is, actually. So we come down to here. Did I connect that one up to this? There we go. Cool. So now we need to get the power from here to over there. And I think I'm going to actually have to spend a few seconds thinking about how that will work. And I will bring you back when I've got it wired up. So it's cost me all of my copper, but I've managed to get it here. That's not quite true. I still have these nine bits of copper ore left, but I don't think we're going to be able to get the power all the way over to here. Not not with what we've got going at the moment. So I've got the sag generator, sorry, the sag mill here. I'm going to pop it up there so I can put a LV wire and yes, an LV wire connector underneath. I would also like to put that from there to there, and hopefully we're getting power in this now. Oh. Did it just take a whole load of stuff off of me? Wait, why is this iron ore in here? I think I may have done things beforehand. Okay, well, we can see it's uh, working pretty well. We've got some slate ore that is getting worked through percentages at a time. This is working through the iron, and we're getting more power than it can consume. I think that is probably one of the better things. So I'm going to sit here and feed in some materials, maybe go cook up uh, some of this other stuff, and I will bring you back with either the wrap-up or whatever we're doing next depending on how far this episode is through already so occasionally when making videos oh look there's some iron up there you will finish a project and go and look at how much time you've got left and you'll be like oh, i don't really have time to start a new project so i thought what we might do yeah i will take this is come through here and uh activate these spawners and see exactly what comes out of them i think it'll be very good for us to know what is happening here more what it is that we're going to pick up from them uh, i feel relatively safe about this i mean there, there can't be too many i haven't got any extra blocks anyway so this is going to have to be the safest uh, is it going to spawn this, this is the question i mean can it spawn without water around it looks like it's a water mob should i uh try this Let's see if that will help. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's getting hyper again because, of course, these have these uh, phases where there's not many uh, flames and then lots of flames just before it spawns. And I'm thinking it should spawn at some point. It is definitely a Skyless spawner. It's one of these weird... Um, sea creatures no it's not gonna do that either okay i'm gonna have to do some research about this guy we'll figure out what's going on there i don't think it was that i just didn't give it enough time if it was i do apologize and we'll come back and try again let me know in the comments of course i really need to make my way myself a better way up here i come up this sort of weird diagonal jump every time here's another one yeah once again i'm gonna clear out this case uh now obviously at some point, this is a uh, Zephyr called Zephyr, Zephyr, Zephyr. I don't know. Uh, obviously, at some point, we're going to have a moving one to come in here and do all this hard stuff with. But oh, quick as that! Yeah, this was the one. Did you see that? Look, oh, it must have gone into my mining backpack. Uh, this guy gives us glowstone powder. So this this is definitely going to turn into some form of farm. Uh, maybe he's going to go again. You see what I'm saying about the not many flames. And now as he's getting hyper again, he'll start spinning quicker. There'll be more flames. And then eventually that. Which is what it's all about, obviously. Oh, how did... Get get out. It's because you got to aim at their feet, I remember. Uh, let's block him. Go again. Am I losing health to be worried about? I'm not really, am I? 
no, no. Uh, so yeah, there we go. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're probably going to try and do something with this spawn box. He, give us, he gives us glowstone powder, and man, I could really do with getting my hands on some of that glowstone powder. But anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!